Well, typically in June, we get these areas of thunderstorms that race off the high plains developing out there in the afternoon. Coming our way overnight, our Fox 23 severe weather team coverage continues. Certified meteorologist Mike Grogan has a look at these convective complexes. Yeah, that's right. It's an MCS, and that stands for Mesoscale Convective System. In the meteorology world, that converts to basically a fairly large area of storms or a storm cluster that can travel hundreds of miles. It, it does usually involve high winds, very heavy rainfall, torrential rainfall in many cases, and it can go up to a thousand miles in distance or even further depending on the scenario. So let's kind of talk about how these storms form. First of all, we get a storm during the day forming. It just is generated by the warmth and humidity, especially of this time of year. That continues to fuel multiple storms under the right wind shear conditions and under the right upper level winds. And eventually those storms gather enough that in the upper level of the clouds, it's very cold and that colder air is denser and therefore it's going to rush downward as a result of gravity and spread outward and that drives the storms to push into warmer, less dense air. And that's a result of a very stormy and unstable atmosphere. And that is what an MCS tends to be. But let's talk about it on a weather map because the typical setup is that we get a jet stream from northwest to southeast. We get storms to fire up in the high plains of Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas. This is where these often form, just general storms of the afternoon. Then as they are continually fed into the evening with strong winds above the surface with humidity and that warmth, they can grow in their uh, size and kind of continue geal together. Eventually, we get a complex of those storms that follows the upper level winds and parallels really with that gradient of warmer, moist air. And that's where we get some of those storms to occur in the overnight hours. Most common this time of year, given the setup for the jet stream a little further north and drawing in a lot of warmth and humidity at the surface that is readily available here in June. But they can happen other times of the year and come from different directions. We do have some of these in the forecast for a closer look at that. I'll send it back to James.